Have you ever been to a cocktail party or car dealership and heard the word lemon used to describe a car? We are here to tell you 15 lemon cars that are still on the road today. But before we dive in, welcome to Alpha Law Firm. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by hitting the bell icon so you never miss any of our updated videos in the future. Lemon vehicles are not a rare find in the automobile world. If a vehicle is a lemon, it simply indicates that it is defective. Actually, it's usually very bad. The kind of automobile that exists on the highway as a waste of space, the kind of car that proves to be a curse to its owners, or worse, proves to be nothing at all, as many cars from the late 1990s and early 2000s did. The worst part about lemons is that they can be a little more devious than just a defective car that won't start. No, there's a different kind of lemon. The kind of soul-sucking consumerist mass production offensive that sells for one reason brilliant advertising, and a low basic price. These lemons should have never been on the road in the first place, yet years later, they're still clunking along in mediocrity. So let's get started with number 15, 2002 Audi RS6. It may come as a surprise to see an Audi on this list, especially one with the RS logo. But alas, we find it here for various reasons, the most important of which is its lack of reliability. Despite this, it's common to see them on the roads we all drive on, but they're less of a nuisance than others on this list. It has some deep flaws. A combination of poor reliability and high repair prices reflecting its bespoke nature results in a horrible reliability index, the worst performer Warranty Direct has ever seen in its 15 years in business. Number 14. PT Cruiser Convertible while this entry is technically about the PT Cruiser convertible, the truth is that any PT Cruiser fits on this list of lemons. The most perplexing part of the entire situation is how popular and profitable the model was for Chrysler. It's really a matter of belief given how poor and unreliable this miserable mass production car was. Nothing about it made it a nice car, and yet we're all forced to see them almost every single day we go on the roads. What a travesty. Number 13. 2002 Buick Rendezvous The Rendezvous is a car that follows a trend, with enough size to compete with all of the sport utility vehicles, SUVs, that were soon becoming popular. Nonetheless, this Rendezvous stood apart from the pack in various ways. The Rendezvous isn't exactly gorgeous, as you can see, mostly because it's so difficult to look at. It's more like the kind of face that only a mother could love, and barely at that. That, combined with the car's lack of reliability, means that it offers nothing in terms of drivability. Number 12. Hummer H3 The entire Hummer brand may be summed up in one word. Lemons. There is a true reason they went out of business so quickly. They started out wonderful and then made horrible judgments. Let us explain why the H3 was so bad in more detail. The engine and handling were both terrible. The H3 was difficult to look out of and had less fuel economy than the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Also, despite its big size, the rear seat was not particularly spacious, and a Ford Fiesta has more cargo space. Number 11. Chevy Aveo The Chevy Aveo may be one of the most insipid and bland lemons on our list. While other vehicle lemons can be described as sour due to their low quality or unreliability, this one isn't necessarily that. It's just extremely bland. This car is little more than a mass-produced cheap box of, well, nothing. And there are still a lot of them on the road, both in hatchback and sedan form. It also makes no difference which one we discuss. Number 10, 2006 Chevy Malibu Max SS. There's nothing about this Chevy Malibu that merits the SS label. Chevy had a streak of slapping a once SS performance designation on subpar cars in the 1990s and 2000s, but placing it on this bizarre automotive catastrophe was just bad. They couldn't be more inaccurate and I've owned one of these myself. Unfortunately, it's like swimming in a plastic sea that can't merge properly due to a lack of power, acceleration, or handling. Number 9. Geo Metro Almost everyone agrees that this car deserves to be on this list more than any other, even if it isn't necessarily the worst lemon offender of all time. It's called the Geo Metro. This car is on the list because of how you feel when you hear the name. 
It lacks flair, has no power or handling, a puny 50 horsepower engine, and no pizzazz of any kind. Furthermore, many claim to have driven these vehicles over 250,000 miles. As a result, we still need to look at them every time we drive. Hold on guys, I hope you are enjoying this video. So don't forget to subscribe to the Alpha Law Firm, and if we've missed anything important so far, tell us in the comments below. Now the question is, what will be our next lemon car? Ready to explore? Number 8. 2008 Chrysler Sebring Convertible The Chrysler Sebring is deserving of a spot on our list. We honestly don't see why anyone would want to buy one of these automobiles unless they were nearly free. Most individuals would rather ride a bicycle, scooter, or wear a good pair of sneakers than drive a Chrysler. This vehicle is complicated to understand. The convertible version is even worse, with less structural abilities, higher weight, and more things that can go wrong. Number 7. Pontiac Aztec To demonstrate just how bad the Aztec is, Time Magazine rated it one of the worst cars of all time in 2007 and the 34th worst innovation of all time in 2010. People were ecstatic when Pontiac unveiled its sport utility vehicle SUV, concept. It had unique looks, but a lot of potential as a new robust alternative to the Jeep. But unfortunately, they had tinkered with it by the time it came out, creating a plastic-clad mess of bad looks and lackluster performance. Number 6. 2008 Jeep Compass The Jeep Compass is undoubtedly one of the worst offenders on our list, as well as one of the worst lemons. Top companies have some rather strong adjectives to describe it. It had a Jeep insignia on it, so we figured it'd be okay on the things. The Compass lacks basic four-wheel drive and other Jeep-like features. This vehicle is an atrocity, similar to putting a four-cylinder engine in a Mustang. This is exactly correct, there has never been a less Jeep or more famous specimen of a lemon. Number 5. 2004 Kia Amanti Once upon a time, Kia was neither a competent nor a popular car manufacturer. Nonetheless, they were on their way up and delivered a significant number of subpar lemons to a large audience. The Amanti is only one of those examples. Because the car was unattractive on the inside and exterior, it drove like a bus and weighed the same. It was their attempt at a luxury automobile to compete with Honda and Toyota, and it turned out to be a complete lemon, one that we still see on the roads today. Number 4. Ford Explorer Time Magazine contends that this car originates from the tremendous crossover craze that has swept the United States since its debut, and we agree. The Ford Explorer is accountable for starting our country on the spiral of vehicular obesity that we are still battling with today, they say. People, especially women drivers, discovered that they like sitting up high. So, despite having many more efficient options, they chose the SUV. To put it another way, people were addicted to the position. Number 3. Pontiac Grand Dam Except for the fact that it is a magnificent lemon in practically every way, there isn't much to the Pontiac Grand Dam that is actually grand. However, this did not prevent sales from being marginally successful and we are unfortunate enough to see them almost every time we drive. With this affront to design wisdom, Pontiac's plastic fixation continues. They paired front-wheel drive with an underpowered four-cylinder engine, doubling down on the rubber-made appearance with plastic cladding everywhere. Number 2. Scion TC While the Scion TC is not the top offender on this list, it's a surprise why it's as bad as it is. It's really rather simple, as it's built and marketed as a small, sporty, quick little sports car coupe that's also controlled. But that is not the case. The TC sports a sluggish, buzzy engine, wallowy rolling handling, and a low, noisy interior. How difficult can it be, especially because there are so many identical automobiles that actually handle well? Number 1. Toyota Echo The Toyota Echo is a lemon from a manufacturer not known for producing many lemons. Taking a glance at this curiously formed, bizarrely stanced, strangely warped, and imbalanced two-door sedan, it's not surprising that it's a lemon through and through. Some may consider the car to be ahead of its time, but let's face it, the Echo wasn't a very nice car. Some of its revolutionary features have yet to catch on, but of course, being green has never been so painful. 
That's it for today's video. Remember that this is not legal advice and does not constitute attorney-client relationship. Call now to learn more. 323-51-LEMON-53666. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications to be notified of every upload. This is Alpha Law Firm and we will see you on our next video.